What's up, guys? It's Oops and Big Two Hangers from IV Gaming. We're bringing you another wonderful, or our first wonderful video. Uh, oops, what are we doing today? We're doing some lasso on the first level, the Pillar of Autumn. And we are tremendous Halo players. We're probably the best. As everybody knows, we're we're great. So this is going to be a, a treat for everyone. That it is. This first level isn't too difficult. Um, if you can get past the connection difficulties. Yeah, that'll hurt to uh, start a level out. Not a good way to start for us. You gotta love this uh, first running sequence here. Uh, losing all your shields and, of course, because of the Black Ice Skull, you don't recharge them, so... You gotta be careful with that. And it's a sequence that we've done probably 500 times and you have it down pat and I still have no idea where I'm going the Well, I wouldn't time. say down pat. I just make some easy guesses, or lucky guesses, I would say. All right, compared to me, yeah, you, you have gotta it down pat. Yeah, you jump over pat. that guy's shoulder, otherwise you gotta wait there. Right, exactly what I was about to say as well. You can see that I'm down to, what is that, five bars of health already? And we've done nothing and we're already down to health. So we're pretty much showing you guys that you don't have to be good at the game to actually do this. Keep your head down. There's two of them. As you can see, we cut out the nonsense cutscenes, and if you guys really want to see those, uh, get the game and you can watch them. <laughs> yeah, get the game and play it yourself, guys. Come on. All right. So the main thing to know here is you gotta you gotta prioritize grunts. They blow up from their death, and. They're your biggest weapon in any le level on this game. Yeah, it's incredible. If you're having a tough time with a, a part like you're focusing on the Elite or something, oh, well, there's two grunts standing around it. Just pop one of the grunts and all of a sudden the Elite's dead and it's nothing. I don't know if you saw that there. I'm down to three bars of health and walked past a health pack and did not pick it up. I recommend picking those up when you can. That's really solid advice. Um, you see, my health isn't down that far because I don't really do anything but walk behind you and try to shoot from a distance. <laughs> yeah, see? See, here's a great example of it right there. Yeah, I made sure I included some of your nice uh, headshot kills there. Um, if you listen here coming up after we get these overshields, I boosted the audio when Cortana talks, and I found it just hilarious right here. Right there, she says clever bastards, and that's probably the funniest line in this level. I don't think I ever even noticed that she says that, because I don't, in any game, I don't pay attention to any of the commentary, cutscenes, anything. I'm just trying to play the game. No, I didn't notice it until editing this video, and it's so quiet if you don't boost it up. I think I have that about 250 boosted to get that, that volume. So they make it really subtle, but put it right on the screen, but nobody's paying attention to the words on the screen when they're running around, right? No. And as you can see there, I, you can punch a grunt in the face to get your shields back, but when they're already low, it's uh, it'll hurt you. Yeah, anything with the grunts will be unbelievably painful throughout this whole lasso series. So I kind of mentioned that black eye skull. Um, boom is also enabled, and that's explosions are twice as big. So as those grunts blow up, they also have. Uh, pretty nice size radius on their explosions. It's kind of hard to get away from them. And I think their math is wrong because I'm sometimes in a different ship and I get hit by the explosion from a grunt. That is true. And sometimes I throw a grenade right on one and it doesn't kill them, so. Yeah, there's really weird stuff, especially in Halo CE here, where like something, what you expect is going to happen, doesn't happen. Like, it could happen the same way a hundred times, but all of a sudden, one time, it doesn't work that way. And it totally screws up your whole game. One thing I will say, uh, playing through the game multiple times on Legendary, quite a few, or a few times, I guess, on Lasso now, because we, we've beaten a couple of the levels multiple times. Um, the Black Eye Skull sometimes makes it quite a bit easier, because you get your shields back instantly, rather than having to wait for them to recharge. Yeah, on Legendary, I'm not running up to, like, a hunter and meleeing him 15 times so I can't get him to turn around in order to kill him.
Another skull that we have is fog where the motion tracker is disabled. I don't really care for the motion tracker in the campaign anyway, so that's not a that's not a huge one. At least for me. It's kind of a big one for me. I like live and die by the motion tracker. I don't even look at the screen. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm going like away from red dots. Another thing to remember in Lasso is take your time. Yeah, go checkpoint to checkpoint. And just if you get stuck at a part, just keep at it. As you can see from our score in the bottom corner, I cut out all our deaths, deaths but um, obviously we have been dying. Oh, I assumed we hadn't been dying at all this time. We we're just going flawless. <laughs> I mean, we are professionals, right? Yeah, Here, that's I had to what punch you, you to get us. your uh, I had to get your overshield going so you could pick up the rest of that one. Normally you hate it when I hit you. You relish any opportunity you can to hit me. Yeah, exactly. One of the biggest skulls that I personally dislike in this is the foreign skull. That means we can't pick up any plasma pistols and that's that's huge especially against Yes, yeah, so that means no easy noob combos. You can see I'm having a little brawl here. Having a little brawl with this elite here. Um, as long as you keep punching them and don't miss them like I do quite often, you will be fine with your shields. Yeah, and this is what you're talking about with the black eye skull. Sometimes you just got to go up to them and hope you hit your melee because so your, your shields come back instantly and see on lasso. Uh, one trick that we found out was... Make sure you have your melee on one of the bumpers. It's a lot easier to hit your melees rather than having it on like B, like we used to. As you can also see, our HUD sometimes has different things disabled on it. That is from the malfunction skull. So this part, uh, the first time we played Lasso, we spent, I don't know how long, trying to just run through this part. And it's infinitely easier to just kill everything. Yeah, just... Like I said earlier, you gotta prioritize the grunts, and uh, it's not too bad once you do that. As you can see, my shields are down, and I don't know how much health I have from the mal malfunction skull. So that's always a rough spot to be in. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the malfunction. Because it's any piece that we like specifically want to look at for whatever reason is gone. Like, that's how it happens to work out for us. Yep, how much ammo do you have? I don't know, that's the one that's gone now. Yeah, exactly. Every time, it never fails. Uh, speaking of ammo, uh, the Famine Skull has... The weapons that you pick up have less ammo. Obviously, that doesn't matter for Covenant weapons, but if you ever pick up any um, Marine weapons, that'll have half the ammo. Which is a massive pain as well. It's it's pretty much lasso is just painful. The only thing, like you said earlier, is that black eye that kind of makes it easier in some aspects. You also use twice as much ammo per shot, so it kind of gets you on two fronts there. That's from the recession skull. Yeah, which is awesome. Awesome once you uh, get to like truth and reconciliation, where you have a sniper rifle. Yeah, we'll talk about that one when we get there. That's uh, we won't talk too much about that one now. That's that's a fun one to do. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait for that one. As you can see, accuracy is not one of my strong suits sometimes. We should hurry. Well, you know, it's lasso. You gotta... Well, and auto-aim's not on. I don't know if we mentioned that at all. We did not. Auto-aim makes a massive difference. That is the eye patch skull. You don't realize how much you use it. I always thought I was generally a pretty good shot. But yeah, I'm not. It's the uh, computer aiming for me, apparently. Because we're playing on co-op, we, if we die, we respawn at a checkpoint. If one of us dies, we both respawn at the checkpoint, rather than having to restart the mission if you're playing solo. 
Which seems kind of backwards. Like, you got two people, they should make it harder, not the other way around. Yeah, I'm not complaining, though. I'm not, oh, trust me, I'm not complaining either. Oh, there's me standing in the back watching you fight something. <laughs> yeah, I got some a couple of elites out here. Got a nice cin cinematic view of that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm filming. Yeah, and then you pick up the health pack that I was getting ready to pick up, and there it's back because. And you picked it up. Oh, again. I got the kill though, so I needed the health. Yeah. It's all good though. And in the heat of the moment, things happen that you regret later. It looks like the Covenant wanted to catch you napping. This hallway here, you gotta be careful because there's an explosion in front of you there, and then this second hallway here will sometimes explode. And you can die quite often just from those scripted explosions. So we're kind of backing off here to make sure that it doesn't blow us up because I have two bars of health. I'm not sure what you're at, but see, there's an explosion up further, and all explosions have double, double the radius. So, yeah, there we thought the hallway was gonna blow up again, but didn't. Yeah, we're pretty tentative when it comes to this stuff, especially when you've been trying the same points over and over and over and over again. That you get very cautious at certain points, and then you get a checkpoint, and that all goes out the window, and you just run in. But Yeah, there we were kind of lost for a second. Okay, here. That's my whole life in video games. Here, I killed that grunt. It blew up. I waited a second, you know, made sure it wasn't going to blow up. And there's one falling, and it takes my shields down. Where did that one come from? I think that's just the Halo gods uh, getting revenge on you for all the times you shoot and hit me unnecessarily. Yeah, that... It happens. They know I'm too nice to do it myself, so they're taking care of it for <laughs> me. You gotta be careful for Marines throwing grenades at you too. I don't think we got caught in any of those in this mission, but not uncommon. <laughs> you saw me there looking at the door, opening it and going, nah, <laughs> backing up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, there you are. You, yeah. You got him. There, you almost shot me. I had to include that. I almost is a keyword. I didn't, though. <laughs> Here, we're kind of trying to find out where to go. Again, another great shots by me there. Another thing in this mission, especially, is you got to follow the enemies. Uh, if you look around enough, you'll find the next wave of enemies, and it just keeps pretty linear, a couple dead ends. Yeah, gen generally these games are pretty linear, but it's still, it takes me way too long. Like, if you would watch me, like, on my solo legendary runs, like, you'd be so frustrated. Like, wh where are you going? Why are you going that way? I know we're getting towards the end of the mission here. Uh, just wanted to mention that we do play Lasso in the classic graphics because the new graphics have different shapes that can stick out or not stick out, and the geometry always follows the classic graphics so you want to make sure that you're actually shooting what you're aiming at especially with the, all these skulls on that you don't get ammo you take twice as much ammo you can't pick up a covenant weapons it's uh, pretty important to make sure you're hitting your shots and that is the pillar of autumn on lasso thanks for watching guys thanks guys see you next time